my girls, hello my loves. Falcha new falcha irash quick my canal YouTube. So welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is our second installment of filling in our goals for 2024 on my BDE journal planner. Um, big diary interview. Um, so if you have any interest in getting an undated planner that you can start whenever you want, go to my website seriouslycarola.com and you, they come in black, the classic kind of Carola green, dark green and uh, a royal blue as well. So last week we went through our vision board, so like the high level goals or visions we have for each of the categories for this year and we went in high level the kind of key goals that are going to feed into the visions we have for each of these sections of our lives in 2024. Now the next stage of the planner is breaking these high level goals into small chunky smart goals so they're going to be timed, actionable, measurable, realistic, all of those things. So the first one is professional goals. Now, can you see there's a lot of, let me check, there's a lot of shadow here because it's a gorgeous day today. So I'll be back. Beg me a rash. Tell me a rash, I am back. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so what I'm doing from a professional goals action plan perspective, I'm breaking down the higher level items we've done here and we're giving context to them. So the vision and goal is work smarter, not harder. I want to use my time for big impact items. Why? So I can invest more energy in my business, seriouslycarla.com and my relationships. Uh, I want to, my motivation is I want to do it all. I want financial stability, which comes from my job, but I also want quality relationships where I am investing quality time. I was spending time on my relationships last year, but it wasn't good quality. I was just too tired and drained. Start date, 1st of Feb, you know, if you go here that I am not a January action girl. I spend January planning, really drilling down into what I do want and then taking action in February. January, I'm still figuring out what day of the week we have. You know what I mean? I'm not that motivated girly until February. <laughs> 30th of April, so we're going to try and break this down into three months. Target goals for me this year. And if I get all of these items done, I'm going to do a solo spa day in May. If I complete this in April, I'm going to go to the jazziest, nicest, loveliest spa day because I deserve it. <laughs> um, obstacles to overcome. I'm finding it really challenging to find time to templatize my repeatable work. Um, I'm finding it difficult to carve out time to learn about automation when I have the energy and mental capacity to absorb that information. And another obstacle I'll need to overcome is to get the entire organization to copy what I'm doing or to buy into what I'm trying to achieve. Resources I'm going to use in order to achieve this stuff is ChatGBT, YouTube, LinkedIn Learning, and I'm gonna pop in Excel here because I do like Excel for data tracking. So big steps, I need to learn automation tricks and tips, learn ChatGVT prompts that will give me a better, more targeted response. And then I need to do kind of like a showcase to my wider organization in order to, I suppose, um, influence them to take on similar practices to make us overall a more effective organization. Little steps I can take in order to achieve these goals is schedule one hour daily to templatize. 
schedule two hours every Sunday to learn some of this work stuff. You know, when the Sunday scaries hit, use that fear as energy to learn these items. And I also need to start tracking impact on my personal workload so I can translate the value of this to the wider organization. So here is how my professional goals for 2024 and how I'm hoping to achieve them. Now we're going to move on to my personal goals. So we said here, um, create Irish content, monthly Carla day and more self care. So the high level goal really from a personal perspective is focus on self. Um, I absolutely love Irish language, but I have don't have a lot of confidence anymore from lack of use. And I've also found that um, I'm not very confident in myself at the moment. Um, like I I have let go of all my self care, like exercise, skin care, you know, taking care of my hair, all of that. I've kind of let that slide, and that's reflecting back at me now in the mirror. I don't necessarily think. I look any different or drastically different but I think the mental filters are really you know impacting my perception of myself and I think focusing on bringing up my confidence in the Irish language which is something I really love and enjoy will be like a non self you know like not a non-physical or non-aesthetic goal for me um, and the Carla day I think will be good for me because I just get to do the things that I want or that I need to do it can be errands all of that good stuff so it clears out my mind um, from all the things that are kind of hanging there in the background um, and I think that is a gift to myself to do that once a month to clear out my mental load um, and I did it once already I, I've done my January kind of Carla day and it was really beneficial it's really set me up for the entire month and I'm also going to spend more on self-care so focus on self so we're going to say Irish and we're going to say um, Carla day and we're going to say um what was the last thing self care so focus on self and for me that's looking like irish language Carla Day, so prioritizing solitude with self and um, self care, which I kind of lost the run of myself last year. Um, I lost confidence in myself and I felt, I feel still very disconnected from myself as a result of um, not making the time or space for myself last year. Um, and I'm not in saying that in a kind of, oh, past Carolyn was the worst, but. Um, she did what she had to do with what she was hoping to achieve last year. But this year we're, we're reaping what we sow and we're investing back into my main resource, which is myself. I'm hoping that this will increase positive self-talk and self-esteem and it will reduce my mental load on a monthly basis um, and hopefully end up with me not being really exhausted all the time. So yes. Okay, so my health goals for 2024. Um, I really want to increase my energy and my well-being and you can probably start to see a kind of through line uh, in all of my different goals. The aim is 
for all of my individual goals to feed into one bigger kind of a focus point um, and break these all into smaller action items. So I want to enjoy my free time because I have more energy and I want to feel good in my body as well. Um, I have been heavier weight wise but felt better because I was very active and I had all those good endorphins going through my body. Um, right now I don't feel great but that's through lack of movement, lack of stretching, lack of exposure to sunlight. It's all my own fault but you know um, I want to feel good again. Uh, motivation is I want to do at least one half marathon this year. That will scare me into um, really getting serious about my training. Start date 1st of February and I'm giving myself until the end of October to do this. The reason why is there's a couple of different quite famous or big half marathons between now and the end of October. Um, so you've got Cork, Dingle and Dublin all happening um, within that time frame. So it gives me a chance to train and identify which one I want to do. And if I do the half marathon by the end of October, my treat to myself is myself and the boy will go on a city break in November. So for a weekend or a long weekend. So that will motivate me to keep my backside running <laughs> in the rain. Obstacles to overcome. Again, I think because of the lack of energy and because of the lack of boundaries with work, uh, I feel very time poor in the evenings. So I need to schedule out time for training. Uh, my fitness level is brutal at the minute. So again, I need to get my general fitness up before I start, you know, half marathoning it. Um, my weight is quite high at the moment, which makes running more difficult, um, you know, on the knees and the joints and stuff. And then again, the energy. So it all kind of leads into the other. Resources I currently have is I have gym, I have a gym membership that I can use, I have a smartwatch that I can use and I can Google, there's lots of free training plans on the internet for half marathons. Big steps I'm going to take in order to make this an easier goal to achieve. I'm going to get a really good morning routine uh, in the bag. So I've already started this um, to get into the habit in January where I get up quite early, 6.30. Um, first thing I do is have some protein, some water and I go for a walk, get those steps in, come back, have my coffee and then potter around the house. So um, the AM routine is coming along nicely and I just need to solidify that uh, in order to facilitate time for fitness time for getting my steps and things like that start the training plan and get a buddy for running now i quite enjoy solo running but the body helps when it's raining outside or when it's dark outside and i really don't want to leave the house if i've told a buddy that i'll meet them guilt basically gets my backside into the car and out running Little steps is get 10k steps every day, whether it's walking, skipping, hopping, crawling, or whatever. Um, so get 10k steps every day. Uh, a weekly meal plan. This is something me and my boyfriend are pulling together for quick, easy meals Monday to Thursday after work. And then we're going to track my weight. Um, this is just to make sure that, because I do need to lose weight from a health perspective, um, my GP wants me to lose 10 kg so we need to do that anyway so big steps we'll say is lose 10 kg so what I really want to do there's three key goals here so it's ooh, sinking funds So complete annual sinking funds. Emergency fund for me. So I want three months uh, spending. And then emergency fund for the business. I want three months as well. Because these drivers, these three items I suppose, were the key reason I kept spending on my credit card last year 
despite paying off my car loan. So we're going to remove the possibility of that happening this year by saving our backsides off. And then next year we can focus on building wealth. So financial goals, we're going to save because we're not going back into debt. We're going to get financial stability because, you know, the tech job market is a scary market to be in and we want to be in a position to build wealth next year. We're giving ourselves the full year for this one. And if I do it, we're buying ourselves a kitchen composter, which I'm obsessed with. I need to find high yield savings accounts that are available for Irish people. And I'm going to have to move away from heavily cash stuffing and more into digital cash stuffing for savings. I will still use the cash, physical cash stuffing for kind of spending restrictions for my groceries and stuff. But for saving, we're going to veer more towards the digital resources, YouTube, CCPA and my budget spreadsheet. We're going to move to digital. We're going to open a non-Irish account and we're going to identify and test a high yield savings account. So we've got two others here. Will we do them today or will we do them? Let's come back to these. I feel like this is a long enough video. Um, we've done a lot today. So we've done our professional, our personal, our health and our financial. And then next week we'll do our relationship and others. And then we'll fill in and prep for February. So, shinny, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and it didn't bore you to tears. Um, I hope you found it interesting how I try and build out my goals for the year in order to feed into each other rather than give myself so many big massive goals to achieve. Um, I find I get overwhelmed and, and run out of energy and then drop the whole lot. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this interesting. And as usual, God of Mila Mahakwiv. So thank you all very, very much for choosing to spend this time with me. Time is precious, so I appreciate you. And I hope you all have a gorgeous rest of your week. Slán. Bye.